Aloha students, my name is Rebecca McCarthy and I'll be your instructor here at South Seattle College. Today I want to give you a quick tour of the Canvas environment because they have done a major update since uh, summer term. So this may look a little unfamiliar to you and you may not be sure where to find things. So I want to make sure that you can find everything. Right now I am in student view in one of the classes. It doesn't matter if you're taking one of my communication courses, one of my uh, English courses, they're all pretty much set up the same. So this will give you a good idea of how to navigate one of my courses no matter what course you're in. Alright, so here we are in the course area and I'm in my home uh, tag. now. Over to the left, you'll see that there is a new navigation uh, that we have here in Canvas. It's a blue bar, and you can go to your dashboard, you can go to your calendar, you can go to your inbox or your account, okay? So right now I'm in Courses, and when I click on Courses, you'll see all my courses will be listed. Right now, because I'm in Student View, it shows that I only have one course. And if you click on the course, that should take you to the Home tab of your course. Next to the blue navigation area, you'll find the navigation for the course itself. And under My Courses, the navigation tools that you will find are Home, which is the modules. Modules are the same. Grades, Announcements, Syllabus, People in the Course, Outcomes for the Course, Chat, a link to your library, a link to student email, as well as advising and counseling. Once you are in the main module or the home page, you'll find that I have everything listed, if you will, through what we have to do every week. Week one, week two, week three, week four, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go into the first week so you can see how this works. The first thing you'll want to do every week, and that is on Mondays, is you're going to want to look at what is, to, what is um, going to be due that week. And I have basically a page set up every week that tells you what's due all the reading, all the assignments, and what you need, when you need to get them done. So take your time to read this. You'll read about the unit objectives right here. You'll also read about the course outcomes. Then it's followed by important college dates, certain dates to withdraw if you have to change your status and so on and so forth. Then you have your general to-do list, readings, discussions, and any other tasks that may be due and also discussions about course readings and videos, okay? You'll notice that every week you're asked to mark this reading, what is due, done before you can move on in the unit. I do this so that I make sure that everybody has actually read all the assignments. So let's just mark it as done. Now we're going to go back home. Once we're back home, and once we have marked this as done, we can now go on with the other assignments of the week. For this class, I have two discussion assignments and it's syllabus quiz due. You'll notice that the dates for when assignments are due or when you have to start the assignments are listed right next to the assignment name. For discussions, you'll see that the date that is listed to the assignment name, that's the time that you have to have your initial post done. Discussions usually span the whole entire week, so the due date I have here is just when the first initial post has to be done. Next to the due date, you'll see here how many points that this is worth. Now if we go into the discussion, I'll show you how this works. You'll see that we have instructions about the discussion, when the discussion is due, the discussion expectations, what you need to do and any videos or articles you may have to read, and then you need to answer certain questions and replies. You'll almost see me replying to a discussion as well, or at least having a place where I give you a message at the top of the discussion. If you're going to reply to a discussion, you'll want to hit this first reply area, and that's going to bring up an editor in which you can write your discussion in. But I highly suggest you use either Google Documents or Microsoft Word to actually po um, compose your discussion in and then come back here and cut and paste it into this area. That way you won't accidentally lose any information. All right. Now let me go back to the Home tab again. Quick 
quizzes and other um, basically assignments are going to come out the same way. Quizzes, you have to take the quiz, you'll click on this. Uh, many of my quizzes you have unlimited attempts. There's only very few quiz quizzes in my class where I ask you to take it only once. So that means you can always get a perfect grade, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the same questions are going to pop up every time you take the quiz, so be warned about that. I'm going to go back to the modules. So everything's basically the same every week. Once you finish a week, I suggest that you click that little button and then get rid of all the lists. That way you are not having to look at tasks that are due or was due the week before. I do ask that you complete every task in each week before you move on to the next week. If you are missing a task in the week before, you will be asked to complete that task before you are allowed to move into task two. Okay? So this is how the modules work. And this is the best place for you to view when assignments are due. Now I'm going to go back to the navigation here. If you click on the grades button, this will show you how you're doing each week. This shows you the assignment, it shows you when the due date was, shows you how many dates are possible, and after you have completed that assignment, you'll see the score. Also, to the right, you'll see uh, the different assignments and how much they are weighted. And finally, at the very end, everything is added up, all the weighted aspects of the assignments, giving you a total grade for where you are at in this moment in time. Okay, so this is where you can go to check how you are doing in a class and whether or not you have missed an assignment. Announcements. This is where I will be sending you announcements. Um, I sometimes send them weekly, but if you set your notifications to receive announcements immediately, you will always be notified. The syllabus tab gives you information about the syllabus, including a syllabus that you can download, one that you can scroll through. It's linked to a Google document. All the assignments in this class and when they are basically due. And finally, how all assignments are weighted for your total and final grade in this course. People, this is a great tab so that you can email different people uh, in your course if you need to. Okay, so let's say you wanted to email me, you'd scroll down, you'd find my name here. You click on it. And then you'll find the different ways that you can contact me, okay? Also, you'll get information about me and everything else. Outcomes. This gives you the outcomes of this class um, and their outcomes about what we are trying to learn in this course in general. So you can go through each one. Personal responsibility. MLA citations, library and research, and you can read about what the different outcomes in this class is. Chat. If you and I need to chat and we're online at the same time, this is where we will go. And you'll see that you'll have the people's name here, and then we'll be able to chat right here. And this is where you write your message. And you would send it to me. This takes us to our library here at South Seattle College. Basically, it'll open in a new tab. This will take you to the student email. You'd also have to open it in your new tab and advising and counseling. Now I'm going to go over to the blue navigation bar and I want to click on calendar. The calendar is great because this shows you another way to see when things are due and also when certain things occur during uh, the term. Also, you can get a calendar feed in order to connect up to your Google Calendar if you use that. Inbox. This is where uh, most of the information you'll find emails back and forth. Let me leave student view now so you can see it better. As you can see, here are all my emails so far. If you wanted to compose an email to me, You'd compose a new message, you'd select the course, you'd select the two person, in this case the teachers, 
Rebecca Lee McCarthy, you put in a subject. And then you type your email here. You could also attach a document uh, if you have a document for me to look at. I'm going to hit cancel here. Or you can leave me a media file. So that means you can record media, either a webcam or you can send me an audio message as well. Okay. The account area is where you change your profile, your settings, your notifications, upload any files you may have, e-portfolios, and so on and so forth. And that, friends, is basically the navigation and the new areas within Canvas. I hope this short tutorial has helped you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. Mahalo.